Hello fellow miners, Lego13 back, and today, we will be playing Don't Starve. Now I bet you're thinking, this isn't Minecraft. Well this is the first video for a new segment on my channel called Minecraft Relatives. It's a game where it's, we, I play different games that are similar to Minecraft, and I think that you, if you played Minecraft, you would also like these games. So I'm going to be taking about 20 minutes. 25 minutes uh, to show you guys this new game. Well, it's a pretty old game. It's not. It's new to you guys. If you guys just watch my videos, which you probably don't. So, Don't Starve is a game that's similar to Minecraft in a sense. It's a 2D version. I'll go ahead and just start. Um, there, I've already started some levels. I'm going to start a new level. Now, there are characters you can be. Characters have advantages in this game, too. Like, there's Willow. She's, um, a pyromaniac. She can start fires. Uh, she's immune to fire. And she has a lighter she can start out with. But when she's nervous, she can light things on fire. There's Wolfgang. He's really strong, but only when he isn't hungry. Will Wendy. Uh, there's tons of different characters. I'm not going to explore all the characters, because I'll leave that to you guys. You earn the characters by, you, you eat, there's day, a day cycle in this game, um, and, um, when you die, you cash in those days for experience, and you get characters by, you get a new character by each level you go up. Alright, so, I'll just start out with Wilson, who's the generic character. Alright, apply him. You can also edit your world if you want to. These are just different aspects. You'll see what these are. I'm going to turn up some of the resources just for the sake of showing you guys around how the game works. I'll turn up some of the lesser resources. And I'll turn that off. That's really annoying. I'll tell you what that is later. Let's see. Yep. And turn that off. Those are annoying. I, those are going to kill me. Um, and, yeah, let's see, I'm going to turn some of these off, because I want you guys to see what these do on your own, you know, so I'll turn these off, different things, so, um, alright, let's get to it then, we will s do that, so let's start. I'm probably going to go back on another episode. You can turn the volume down a little bit. I'm probably going to go back on another episode and show you guys, like, different characters. If you guys want me to, leave me in the comments. Let me know if you guys want to see more. This is Maxwell, by the way. Alright, it's going to be kind of hard to see. I can't get this to go away. That notification. I'm I'm doing what it says to do, but it won't do it. Like it just goes to the map. Well, there's a day cycle here. It's really I don't know why it won't go away, but there's basically it says like day one, day two, day three, stuff like that. What can I do it from here? Yeah, yeah, I don't know why, but it won't let me close. I'll figure that out. But I'm just gonna show you main controls. There's just a day calendar here. It's like there's a red one that uh, the red is dusk. The Yellow is dawn, it restarts about here, and there's a blue, which is nighttime. And if you can see here, you have three gauges. There's health, hunger, and sanity. Your health is, well, your life source. If your health runs out, so do you. As simple as that. Your sanity, um, once your sanity starts to go down, different things happen, like you start to see things, like shadow monsters and stuff. I'll show that stuff. And... Yeah, stupid notifications. Anyway, so, yes. Um, you can replenish your sanity by picking up flowers and stuff. There's different um, resources you collect, like gra log grass, there's food. Um, berries you can get from bushes. And I'm showing you guys, I'm just doing a simple click, uh, left click on these things. There's saplings you get twigs from. And there's flint. Usually the first thing you'll usually create, here's the crafting system. You usually create an axe first. So you click on tools, 
and you see the axe, and you see here it's red. I don't have enough resources to make like a pickaxe, so I can make an axe. Now these here that have the lock on them though, they're like in Minecraft. You need certain um, device like crafting stations in order to make them. There's things such as the science machine. There's the alchemy engine, the uh, rainometer different things and it doesn't show all the things you can craft you have to get the station to find out more but it shows you basic things so usually you just spend some time first just collecting resources and stuff there's the mandrakes the mandrakes are pretty useful actually not a lot of people know how to use them you need to walk up right on them pick them and the lie and you can pick them up yes I'm pretty sure that the mandrakes are the things from Harry Potter where they would pull them out of the plants, and if you heard it scream, it would knock you unconscious. Yeah, that actually, I think that's based off it, because with mandrakes, if you just, like, walk up to them, and don't, aren't right on them, oh, well, that didn't work. Usually, they'll, like, walk up and run around, which are really annoying. Anyway, you want to, I recommend collecting, um, the, um, flowers right off the bat, because there are a lot of th things you can craft with flowers, Mainly, there actually no, there aren't a lot of things, but there are a few things you can collect, such as um, you can create a flower crown. A flower crown is a good idea because you can see my sanity is fine right now. You see an arrow going up or down when it changes. Um, things that take out your sanity are things like killing small animals, like when you catch a rabbit, you need to eat it. Um, seeing a very large, scary creature, um, being in the dark, things like that are. Um, things that can lower your sanity. Now I have 12 flower petals. Now I can go down to dress and I can create a garland which is like a flower crown. Aren't I so pretty? Anyway, let's see here. I kept more flint. So yeah, this is usually the first day. Let me check my time real quick. Alright, I'm doing good. Um, let's see. Now once you have an axe, you can go up to trees and chop them down and stuff. Now it's dusk right now. I'm really sorry you guys can't see it up there on the top right, but it's pretty, I, I, I did a pretty good job of explaining it. So there's different things. You need food. Food is the, well, the game's called Don't Starve. You see how the gauge is starting to like empty. That's because I'm running out of food. Now, these things are green right now, and this gauge will slowly lower down, and once it hits the bottom, it'll spoil. Now, you can regenerate it by adding more to the pile of the, um, slotting your inventory, or, um, cooking. You can cook food if you make a fire. I'll show you how to do all that. Um, it's night, it's dusk right now. I don't know when nighttime comes, because I can't see it, so this is a challenge for both of us. There's also rocks you can pick up. Rocks are very important too. A lot of times, this is a game you want to make a base for. I need to chop down some more trees. Now, you don't want to. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Each day, you do not want to chop down too many trees because then you will summon a tree guardian. I'll show you guys that too. I'm gonna kind of just mess around on this to show you guys the different things. Here is a um. This is a gold vein rock, which is different than a normal rock. I don't have. I need more twigs. Alright, I can make a pickaxe now. And the tools do as you would think they would do. And they do different, they just have different purposes. Like, I can go up, you have to hold this in, by the way. I'm not clicking. So then it create, drops things like rocks, uh, flint, uh, gold nuggets. You need a gold nugget to make a science machine. Oh, I think I have enough. And it turns green when you can make something. Oh, I can make a science machine now. A science machine is a very important thing to make. Let me find a good spot. I need to find a good spot to do a base. I'll do a base right here. This is a good spot. So, you set up... You can make campfires. I'm going to go ahead and set up my alchemy engine here. Uh, there we go. Let me check if that's going to work yet. Nope, it's not going to work. I'm pressing Shift-Tab. Shift-Tab. I'm... It's so annoying. I don't know why it won't go away, but I know it requires a key product code. Why do you even give me a product code? You never ask for it. I don't know. So let's see here. Oh, there's another kind of rock. This is I really don't you won't usually um oh dark dark. Uh you can click on here, build a fire. 
Now here's the thing though, being in the dark will kill you. If you are in pitch black darkness, you will die. Because there is a, um, in the lore of this, I guess while I'm waiting for it to become daytime, in the lore of this game, the man that you saw at the beginning was Maxwell. Maxwell was a magician, and he didn't, he always said he didn't want to do, like, fake stuff. He didn't want to fake, fake magic acts. So, oh, side note right here, you can see my sanity starting to go down because I'm in the dark. Um, see if you take it off, though. Oh, never mind. It usually gets, the air usually gets bigger if it's dramatic. But, um, you also can drag food on here to cook it, and it makes a totally new kind of item. Let's see, you see, or you can just, like, click on it. Oh, I won't let you do it. Uh, notifications. Okay. So... You can eat, you can right click to eat on the food, or you can like drag it to your character, whichever feels more comfortable to you. Um, let's see, what was I saying? Yes, Maxwell was a magician, and he didn't want to ever want to do fake stuff, and he found a book, I forgot what the name, it's a really complicated name, but it could summon like shadow creatures, and basically he was toying with power he could not control so during one of his performances he had um summit the shadow creatures summoned him instead instead of him summoning shadow creatures and his assistant Charlie she got sucked in with him and she became the night creature that attacks you. So let's see here. This is a I call this one a rocky rock because when you rock mine it it gives out just normal rocks. Just rocks. Gold vein rocks give off gold, flint, and rocks. Um, this is just a, a normal. These are boulders. These aren't rocks. This is a normal boulder. Normal boulders um, just give off. They give off flint, rocks, and nitrate. You need ni now in the new um, in the new um, Reign of Giants update. I don't have it installed. I'll probably do an episode on that. Um, it you can they added in um autumn and summer um there is winter in this game it's like after i think four days uh four day cycles i don't quite think i think it's a little no no four day cycles when the hounds come um it's from three to four days so let's see what was else was i doing uh i forget i forget what was i doing how much time do i have let me check Oh yes, okay, so, let's see, what else can I do? Oh yeah, I can show you around some of the other stuff. So, I have rocks. What are some things you can craft? You can, there are different things you can craft. I'm kind of blanking out for a second here, sorry. Let me look around a little bit. Oh, rabbit! Now with rabbits, you can go to survival and you can craft um, a trap. I'll show you how traps work. This is a very, this is, a, I, I personally don't do this because it's like way too much trouble. But if you're like in the adventure mode, there's an adventure mode you can get. Oh, oh don't go, oh, I lost it. Okay, well, I gotta find a different one then. I mean, I could just leave it there, but it would be really, really long. I get, oh, okay. Oh, no you don't. You gotta stay on this hole, you won't go through your hole. Ah, oh, crap, it's raining. So, I create a trap. All right, and I can place it down here. If I can get him to walk into it, ah, oh, crap! Don't do it! Don't do it! You gotta place it like right in between them. Okay. okay, here we go. Go in there. Go in there. Oh, see now you caught it, so you can pick him up. And you have got the trap has lost um, durability, but you have this rabbit now, and it is raining now. That's bad. I need. An umbrella. Oh, I don't have the. Oh, I can't make. Oh, I can't make a. Oh, I got a sissy umbrella. A parasol umbrella. A parasol. Uh. Oh wait, no, I'm not in the. Never mind. I I have the um. You can get this game on the um iTunes for um like maybe eight bucks. I mean, it's a pretty big game. Don't let the graphics deceive you. It's a pretty big game. And it um. It had it the um. Pocket Edition on the, um, iP it's only on the iPad, I found that out, it's only on the iPad. 
it um can it has the Reign of Giants update included in it. So that's why it costs a little more. And in that one, rain actually affects you. Like it'll make things wet, oh, soggy and wet. And if you're like tools are wet, they'll, like they'll slip from your hand every once in a while. Let's see. You just collect rocks. And there's um, I'm just trying to show you these the most useful mechanics. Where did my alchemy dude go? Oh, I'll show you. This is um the map. You click on the map. You can zoom in. The map does pause the game, and you can find. There it is. See, there's me. I love this drawing right here. It's very high definition. You um have this, and I mean that like compared to the normal one. Anyway, you have this science machine. There's a science machine there. It pops up. Usually, like crafting stations, um, important markers of like um, monuments and stuff are usually what pop up. Let's see here. If I don't want fresh summer tacos. What? Okay, I don't know what that's all about, but okay. Let's see. So, can I craft a parasol now? Oh, well, I don't know. I really need to. Let's see. I'm going to make... Um, you can make a thermal stone, which is good for winter. A backpack. Backpacks are useful. I'm pretty sure, though, that if you carry a backpack, your hunger goes down faster because it's heavy and it drains your energy. So, I'm going to collect some stuff real quick. Probably gonna go like to 30 minutes probably, just because this is a big review. This game I haven't even like. I've barely. I've just shown you the basics of this game. This game gets intense, and I, I, I don't want to show you guys all of it because this game. Part of the fun of this game is figuring out how it works. Can I make a backpack now? Where's the backpack? I need more bricks. All right, the backpack is very useful. And I'll show you if you notice on the bottom right of my bar. My inventory bar, there's three gray slots. Um, there is the hands. Here, I'll take them off. There's the hands, the body, and the head. Now, like there's things like the, the flower crown and the pickaxe. These are tools you can only wield one at a time. Now, you can make things like armor. There is like a grass suit you can make. Um, but I'm not going to make that right now. You can make a log suit and a marble suit. If you can find um, certain um, marble structures, you can also refine material at the alchemy state at the science machine. I'm gonna make the backpack first. You can craft a backpack, and when you wear it, you can have an extra slots. Now, here's the thing that you cannot you just drop it. You can't put it in your inventory and have like five backpacks in your inventory. That's not how it works. Yeah, they thought of that. I actually tried that myself. A lot of times, because I just kept thinking to myself, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Of course I would do that. But no, they're actually realistic about it. Let's see here. And you can tell my sanity's going down right now because it's darker. And I'm about to die from death. Oh, crap. And I'm dead. I didn't, I forgot, it. I couldn't see the, the scale. So I guess you guys can see me die now. That was Charlie. I have an X. I can't see anything, so I can't. I'm dead. See? See, it says you survived one day. So I can go to the main menu. So that was Don't Starve. Now I have a few, I still have a few minutes. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the enemies real quick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try to. Break, uh, none of these characters are gonna help, really. I'll just stick with. I'm gonna stick with Wilson right now. I'm gonna turn up the enemies right now. Let's see here. Uh, turn on the beefalo, pigmen. Uh, let's see. Uh, spiders, hounds. The tall birds are so annoying. Bees. I hate. No, no bees. I hate bees. Uh, tentacles. Treaty guardians. And that's good. Now these are, this is a, what is the deer cops doing here? Okay, I don't know. The deer cops is a boss level, uh, a boss monster you can find. So let's start. Let's start one more world real quick. I want to show you guys some of the monsters. Run around and show you them. Beefalo! Okay. B 
Beefalo. Beefalo are a very interesting resource. Do not pick a fire with a beefalo, that is for sure. You can also examine. I forgot you can examine items. It's a beefalo. You can examine it. Like, you pick things. Then you'll. That'll teach him. Oh, crap. Tall birds. Tall birds are something you do not want to pick on. Poor pigmen. Oh, don't. Don't you dare. I'm gonna just grab this piece of meat and run. Hi. I'm sorry. Tall birds are basically, they have, they have a nest. You can see there's its nest right there. And, um, yeah, once you do that, you can, uh, oh, bee. Oh. You don't have to worry about yellow bees. Red bees are the ones you need to worry about. You usually see red bees when you attack beehives. You see the big, like, beehive, red bee, you not, I guess. Red bee hives, which are like, ah, crap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. This here is a spider nest. The spiders, very friendly, as you can see. Ow. They're also afraid of sunlight. You can tell they're afraid of sunlight and fire. They'll back off temporarily. Stop following me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. They'll follow you for a certain extent, and then they'll go away. And then they'll go away. Oh, those are pigmen. Pigmen usually attack, um... Pigmen attack um, hostile mobs, except for beefalo. No one, everybody loves beefalo. Uh, yeah, beefalo will kill you easily. Let's see, what's my time looking like? I'm good. Okay, so you can also, if you give pigmen meat, you can befriend them, and they'll follow you for a while. If they things like you are a friend. So you say things, different things. Let's see, can I make an axe? I can make an axe. I guess I'll show you guys the tree guardian. It's if you chop down. <laughs> yeah, if you try to chop down, geez, the pigmen will do it too. Ah, crap. Stay away. Oh, crap. He saw me. Attack. I can't. Oh, I'm used to the normal controls. I didn't do it. He did it. He's dead. Alright. Oh, there's a nest right there. That explains why he's mad. Okay, I got it. Alright, I'm gonna chop down a few. Ah, oh, there's so many tall birds! What did- I didn't turn the tall birds up, did I? Oh, there's a tentacle. The tentacles come in the small berry for some reason. And the- apparently it attacked a bee flow. Big mistake. What if it'll kill a bee flow? It did. I want stuff. Give. It's busy attacking the beefalo. Grab the stuff. I'm out. The tentacles pick a fight with everybody that comes nearby. Oh yay, it killed it. Did it drop tentacles a tentacle spike? Nope. Oh yay, yeah, yeah, it killed the tall bird. So they go away. And they take a second. Just respawn. Alright, so where was I? Oh yeah, I was chopping trees, right? I was gonna try to summon a tree guardian. I should have picked the lumberjack. I should have picked Woody. Woody's a character you can get that he is like a he's a stereotypical lumberjack Canadian. Canadian lumberjack. And he will um he has like an axe that's invincible. Kinda like Willow with her lighter. And the tree guardians, um very mad if you chop down too many trees. I turned them up, I think. I forgot the certain amount you can uh, shut off. Oh, it's dark now. I can't see anything. I'm going to turn my brightness up a little bit. There we go. Can you chop me? Also, um, I've heard that like if um, Woody chops down enough lumberjacks, he, uh, enough lumberjacks, enough trees, he'll turn into like a werebeaver or something funny like that. I don't quite remember what it was. I need another flint. Oh, wait, my axe is fine. What the... What do you mean? What do you mean you don't have an axe? It's right there. Alright, so... Uh, I gotta find some rocks. Oh, what is that thing? I forgot what those are. I have no idea what that bee is. It's like a bee that just wants to pick a fight. I mean, like, for some reason, my imaginary pickaxe can't cut anything. Well, I guess I'll save it for the next episode. Because I'm, I'm out a lot of time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Washing.
watching. I just can't talk today. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys like this video, let me know if you want to see more of Don't Starve or if you want to see more Minecraft Relatives. Uh, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Leave me the... Leave me alone. Leave me alone. See you guys later.